Now, the president's trip, of course, has a lot of people excited about his visit. And as we continue our live team coverage of this event, let's check in with 2822 Eyewitness News reporter Cody Butler. He is live along the route that the president took today. Cody. Nick and Candace, good evening. The president just went off Lackawanna Avenue about five minutes ago, and dozens of supporters of the president and protesters of the president line the street here just outside the trolley museum. We spoke with both sides earlier. We caught up with a group of the president's supporters looking forward to seeing the president come back to his hometown. They spoke to Eyewitness News about the excitement about his visit, saying his return goes to show a boy from Scranton can come the next president. Supporters also said his agenda of coming to Scranton for his Build Back Better plan really reaching his voters. Biden's supporters tell me they also are out here to get a glimpse at the president to really show support for him as he returns home as commander in chief. The best thing ever, but especially when, you know, your president is coming home, it just adds a little more excitement and it makes it a lot more exhilarating. And it was just worthwhile coming here, you know, supporting my president, making my voice heard. Now with any presidential visit, you have opposition. Dozens of people opposing the Biden administration agenda were along Lackawanna Avenue and Jefferson Avenue. They tell Eyewitness News they plan to turn their backs to President Biden as he enters the city. They say he has failed this country since taking office. They're citing the border crisis, eliminating the Keystone pipeline, increasing gas prices, forcing vaccines and more. Along the president's route, many of them chanting vulgar words towards the media and Biden supporters. We spoke with a protester who says they respect who the president is, but do not have to agree with him. And we don't have a, a king or a monarch here. We have a president that, that is elected and we're able to criticize our elected officials. And that's what we're here to do. We're here to let them know that there is another side to this and he is not the most popular president in the history of our country. Now the president is inside the trolley museum, or actually just outside on the uh, parking lot, and supporters tell me they will be outside the museum until the president leaves Scranton. For now, we're live in Scranton. Cody Butler, 2822 Eyewitness News. Guys.